Hello dear students, a very warm good morning to all of you and welcome back in our science session. So my dear students, as we know that in our science session we are discussing about lesson number 7 that is what? Green plants. In that already we have discussed about what are the parts of a leaf and also we have discussed that how the plants are performing the photosynthesis process. So in today's session we are going to move for the next one point from the same lesson but in today's video we are going to perform certain activities which are given in your textbook. So you have to observe that activities properly. So let's start to perform the activity. Okay so let's start to perform the activity number one that is test for start. For that we require some iodine solution and we require some starch solution okay. So for this preparation of the starch solution what we have to do we have to take some hot water and in that we have to add some starch powder okay. So now what I will do I will take this starch solution into one petri dish okay see I am here taking some starch solution in this dish and now this in this starch solution I will add some drops of iodine solution okay I am going to add some drops of the iodine solution but see before adding the iodine solution what is the color of this solution that is what we can say white color okay we can say what white color okay so now in this solution i am going to add some drops of uh, iodine before adding the iodine drops the uh, solution is totally white so now see i am going to add some drops as i will add the drop the color change the starch solution started to show the change in the color why is it so what is that color that is what blue black coloration why is it so? Why is it happen? Because when the starch come in a contact with the iodine, it shows the change in the color. It shows the change in the color that is what? Blue, black. No other substance shows this color change. Only the starch when it comes in a contact of iodine, then it's showing the change in the color that is what? Blue, black coloration it is showing. Okay, so it is the one test for, that is what? Taste for starch. So this is our first activity when the starch come in a contact of iodine then it shows the blue black coloration now we are going to move for the next one activity okay so our next activity is that to show that green leaves contain chlorophyll okay so see here i am having this leaf what is the color of this leaf that is what green but why the color of this leaf is green because as we know that this leaf contain the one colorful pigment that is what chlorophyll Okay. So, because of that chlorophyll, the leaves color is what? Green. So, with the help of this activity, what we are going to show that? That the chlorophyll is important for the preparation of photosynthesis. Also, we can say that what is the aim of our activity? To show that the leaves contains the starch. Leaves contains the starch. So, to perform this activity, first we have to remove all these green color of the leaf. Okay, we have to remove all these green color of the leaves. And how we can remove that green color of the leaves? First, we have to boil these leaf in a hot water. Okay, we have to boil these leaf in a hot water. Then we have to boil that same leaf in a alcohol solution. Okay, no one is allowed to perform these all the activities at home. You have to just observe these activities through the video only. Okay, so whenever we are removing this all the green color from the leaf, that process is called as what? Bleaching. So, removing the chlorophyll from the leaf, that process is called as what? Bleaching. So, the bleaching process first, how we are going to start? First, we are going to boil this leaf in a water. So, now we will start the boiling of the leaf in a water. See, I have taken here water and that oil almost started to boil. Now, I will keep this leaf in this boiling water. We will allow this leaf to remain in this hot water. Let the leaf uh, boil for some time okay so see now we have almost boiled the leaf for some time now i'm going to remove this leaf from the water and we are going to add this leaf in this alcohol solution okay i'm going to keep this leaf now in this alcohol solution and now we are going to keep this beaker in this boiled 
water okay we cannot boil the alcohol directly because it comes up okay so now we have keep this leaf in the alcohol okay and we cannot heat the alcohol directly because if we will uh, heat the alcohol directly then it will comes up and it will cause any harm to us okay so always we have to uh, boil the alcohol that is called as double boiler in this way we have to perform this activity now we will wait some time let all the chlorophyll remove from the uh, get come out from the leaf then we will do the next step now we have done here now bleaching process bleaching process means what we have done we have remove all the green color from this leaf or mo almost most of the green color from the leaf we have removed that is only we are calling as what bleaching process now i will wash this leaf, uh, leaf thoroughly with the help of the water okay with the help of the water and now i'm going to remove this leaf i'm going to keep in one dish okay so in this dish see here before going to keep this leaf in the alcohol it was looking almost everywhere green but you can see here there are the certain passage now which can looks almost white in color okay so now on this leaf i'm going to add some iodine solution some drops of the iodine solution see and then you have to observe the leaf and you have to tell me which color it is showing okay which color it is showing it will also shows the blue black color why because as we know that the food which is prepared by the plant it is get stored in the different parts of a plant okay like the leaf fruit flower leaves stem okay and in this way that extra food which is prepared by the plant it is getting collected in the different parts of a leaf in the form of what starch and that is the reason we can say that what the leaf contain the starch okay so to show that activity first we have done the bleaching process we have remove all the chlorophyll from the leaf and after that what happens only the starch remain in this leaf okay so whenever the starch come in the contact of the iodine as we know that it shows what blue black coloration so from this activity what we can conclude that leaf contain starch okay so see what because this leaf now it is showing what blue black coloration it means what this leaf contain the starch okay so now my dear students we are going to move for the next one activity that we are going to see that to show that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis and also we will discuss about that to show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis so let's start to see this both activity to show that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis materials required healthy potted plant watch glass test tube two beakers with water iodine solution alcohol black papers bunsen burner forceps tripod stand with wire gauge and dropper process take a healthy potted plant and keep it in dark room for 24 hours after 24 hours cover one of its leaves on the upper and lower sides with black paper pieces put the plant in sunlight for 3 to 4 hours after 3 to 4 hours pluck this leaf and remove black paper pieces from it Now boil this leaf in water to kill it. After boiling in water, again boil it in alcohol. Then wash the leaf in cold water and place it in a watch glass.
Now pour some drops of iodine solution over it. Observation The leaf which has been exposed to sunlight will turn blue. There is no change of color in the remaining part. Activity 2 Aim To show that chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis. Materials required A potted plant of variegated leaf such as money plant or crotons, white paper sheet, pencil, beaker, water, water bath, iodine solution and alcohol. Procedure 1. Take a potted plant with variegated leaves and keep it in dark for 3 days so that the leaves become free from starch. This is called destarching. Now, place the destarched plant in sunlight for about 6 hours. Pluck a variegated leaf from the plant and trace the outline of this leaf on a piece of paper by marking the green areas containing chlorophyll. Dip the leaf in boiling water for a few minutes and then immerse it in a beaker containing alcohol and boil it in a water bath till it decolorizes. The leaf is then dipped in a dilute solution of iodine for a few minutes. Take out the leaf and rinse off the iodine solution. Observe the change in color of the leaf. Observation 1. The leaf has two types of patches, bluish black and yellow. The bluish black areas contain starch and the yellow areas without starch. 2. Bluish black areas are the ones which are green previously while non-green areas remain pale colored. Conclusion This shows that only chlorophyll containing areas that is green parts of the leaf produce starch which is a product of photosynthesis. Thus, chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis.